<laughs> okay, we're gonna work on a chop, and a chop is a D1 extension pattern. So here's D1 flexion, here's D1 extension. All right, combination movement. We're gonna chop the top, so he's gonna put his hand or opposite hand on the top. So take this hand and put it right there on the top with the distal third, and he's going to chop down. If this hand is not here and he chops down, nothing occurs. If he puts this hand on the top and hold real tightly, and make sure even when this arm comes further down, you hold real tight there. Once he comes <coughs> further down, push down towards me. He's got to pick it up. He has to come up. He has to come up. Oh, that's so neat. Right, right. Because it's attached. It's attached. If it's not attached, it doesn't come. All right? Now, hand placement uh, is going to be right here, basically, at the wrist and hand. So pretty much right there where that karate chop is, right here at the wrist and hand. And the other hand is going to be on the tricep. And it should go flat once he comes down. All right? Let's try it again. All right? So I want you to push out towards me. Good. And back down. All right, now when I say and back down, take this hand and just help to lower him back down. Right. All right, again, push out towards me. Good. And back down. Now, let's say we have to do the other side. Always start with the arm first, add <clears throat> the opposite second. All right, so if we're going to do a D1 extension pattern, there is the pattern, and then add the, arm the arm hand, top. and then get in place. All right. So you're on the extended side. So put them in the right. pen. Put them in the pattern first, right. add the opposite arm second. So we want to make sure we work on both sides. All right, let's do that. 